Hey, hey, hey team. Happy Saturday. Um, I was thinking about this a while back and wanted to do this video and then um, today I was reminded of it um, because a couple of my team members were reaching out to people that are on their brave list and so um, just a couple of tips that I'm giving to my team that I feel like all of us could um, probably benefit from. So I'm just gonna look over my notes because I wrote stuff down just so I don't miss anything. But um, first of all, and I've done this on a um, on one of our Zoom calls before too, is you have to kind of get quiet to start making your your uh, dream team list. So you have to kind of close your eyes and think in the future, who do I want to see on my team? What are the kind of people that I would love to be in business together with? Um, what kind of people, like look in the future, maybe look a year down the road and go, what kind of people are going to be on my team? Just thriving and growing together and um, you know, working this business together. What kind of people do you love to hang out with? Think about that. What kind of people do you feel like you are passionate about, about having in your life? Whether you're wanting to help them, encourage them, uh, or you just love to be around them. So what I do is I pray for God to give me names of people and then I write those names down and put them on my brave list. And then, you know, I think about like the type of people that um, would benefit the most from this business, okay? Also, when you're making your list, think about people that you have the most fun with, that you have the most joy when you're around them, that you have peace when you're around them. Like, there's no drama in your relationship. It's just fun to be with each other. It feels peaceful and joyful. What kind of people? And then once you're writing these names down, like don't prejudge them. Don't keep them off your list because you think they probably don't have enough money for the product pack or you think they're pretty quiet and shy. I'm not sure if they'd be a good leader. You know, I'm not sure if this business would be for them. Don't prejudge them because there's a reason that those names are coming to your mind, okay? If you enjoy being with them, don't worry if they seem like they're not a strong leader type, okay? Because that's okay. Your team could be full of amazing people who were quiet, but now are gaining confidence and learning. That could be something that you are really good at helping people gain confidence. And I have to say, I've had a lot of people on my team that did not, that started out with not much confidence and having to get over a lot of fear and over some shame and comparison, but um, now they're growing and thriving and they're just learning to fly on their own. So don't prejudge people's names when they come to your mind, okay? And then, um, because it's possible they're really meant to be on your team for more than just the business. I mean, we're all meant to be on this team together for more than just the business. Obviously, it's the relationships with each other that are the richest and most meaningful part of this business, right? And so um, don't prejudge their names. There's lots of different reasons they could be supposed to be on your team, okay? These names that are coming to your mind when you think about the type of people you wanna have on your dream team, those are the names that are the beginning of your Dream Team Brave List. We call it Brave List on our, um, on our team and instead of Chicken List <laughs> because it is going to take courage, it's going to take bravery, and it's going to take boldness. Like you might feel chicken to reach out to these people, but you're going to be brave when you reach out to them. And um, it is a proven fact or a proven principle that the more you speak something over yourself, the more that you begin to believe it. And so um, listen to these two ways of saying something about reaching out, talking to maybe your team members or something about reaching out to somebody and see if you can tell the difference of how, how it feels. I'm gonna try not to be anxious when I reach out to my chicken list today. Okay, statement number two. 
I'm gonna be bold when I talk to my brave list today. So you see the difference? I even feel chills when I say that second statement. I feel like the energy in my body, like the energy that those words give me. The words that stick in your mind from the first sentence are anxious and chicken. But the words that stand out in the second service that are gonna stay in your mind are bold and brave. And so that is the reason we call it a brave list and that's why we wanna speak that over ourselves. Like you wanna say that about, about yourself. Your words are powerful. When you say over yourself that I'm gonna be bold when I reach out to my brave list today, then, and every time you look at that list of people, it says brave list at the top, okay? So that is a very um, important principle to remember, okay? That you're gonna be brave and bold. When you reach out to these people that you are thinking about, who are the people that I love to spend time with? Who are the people I have the most joy and the most peace with and the most fun with? Those, when you reach out to those people, who are the people that are gonna benefit the most from this business? You're gonna be genuine and real because what you have to say to them comes from the heart. Like you really, their name came to your mind because uh, they're somebody that you love to be with, okay? So here's, here's something you could say to somebody on your brave list. Hey Susie, your name came to my mind the other day um, when I was thinking about who would really benefit and be blessed by this team that I'm a part of and this business that I'm doing, okay? True statement. You really believe that they would benefit from this. They will benefit. You're not thinking about your benefit first. You're thinking, I just know your name came to my mind because I know you would benefit from this business. It would just be such a blessing to you. And so would the team. Okay, so then you go on to say, I just love being around you and I love learning from you. Um, I love laughing with you. I love uh, sharing parenting tips with you, whatever it is for that person, something specific to them, the reason you love being around them, okay? Another true statement. That's why you're gonna be genuine and real when you're talking to them. You really do love them. That's the reason they came to mind when you were making your list. Okay, then you go on, just another quick statement. You fit right in with our team. I just know they're gonna love you as much as I do. So you're making it about them, another true statement. You love them and you know that they're going to be a blessing to the team. Um, and then you just end it. Would you be open to chatting with me for 10 minutes to find out some more info? Um, or, would you be open to going out to coffee with me and we can chat about it some more? Question mark. And let them respond and then you get back to them. So let's say they do chat with you, they have coffee with you and they're like, no thanks, not for me. Um, but that's okay, don't be discouraged, don't give up and don't take them off your brave list. Leave them on your brave list, okay? Because they are still a dream team or potential. As we, and this is the whole point of this video. As we have seen all year this year in 2020, there are so many things that can change somebody's life in a moment, just like that. They could go from no way an extra business is not for me. I don't have time and money and desire to do it and I don't really have a need for it to the next day or the next week Everything could be upended in their life. They could have a desperate need for this exact type of business and the community that we offer them. So things can change in a matter of weeks or a matter of months. So keep them on your list, reach out to them again. And another proven fact is it takes at least 10 touches. We call it 10 touches or 10 um, pu times putting yourself out in front of somebody, putting your face in front of them, putting a, a message out to them, uh, taking them out to coffee, different um, touches that you might have in relationship with a person. It takes at least 10 of those to um, get have them say yes until they will until they will say yes to something. So, that's my tips for today that we're just, you know, that's just a few little things, but I would love to hear from you. What do you have a brave list, first of all? 
and um, of dream teamers that you would love to have on your team with you. And um, secondly, like comment below your tips on reaching out to them and what you do if they say no. Or how do you reach out to somebody to be um, genuine and real and make it about benefiting them? So I'd love to hear your tips too. So put them in the comments. All right, guys, have an awesome Saturday. I'll talk to you later.